week in astrology. There is so much happening. The Pisces full moon is on the 20th, which is tomorrow. And we're already going to be feeling this. It's in the very one of the very last degrees of Pisces, which makes it more intense. And so this will be opposing, that's why it's a full moon, opposing Virgo in the last degree of Virgo. So the sun is finishing up here in Virgo. We've been um, more calculating, more analytical, looking at the bigger picture through the vision of the small details. That's Virgo. Um, thinking about the body, exercise, diet, the smaller details that is looks so bright it's a little better I guess anyway this full moon in Pisces is going to be bringing up the things that you've been working towards your longer term goals which is Virgo the things that you've been thinking about all Virgo season long for the last month is going to be coming through now in a more cumulative, uh, sensitive, and spiritual manner. It's very, Pisces is very dreamy, and um, so things are going to be coming up. Pisces is emotional as well, very sensitive, but usually in a more wise and wider general view of things like a bigger perspective higher perspective if you will so when you're in the last degrees of Pisces if you have anything in the last degrees of Pisces in your birth chart you will be feeling it there that will be activated in your chart anything within three degrees of 28 degrees of Pisces so, this is happening tomorrow. We're already feeling this. If you've been questioning anything in your world about long-term goals, relationships, careers, how it's all coming together, you're going to be seeing that now. If it's going to come together at all. If it came together maybe halfway or not like you thought. Um, this is the time to make those changes. We have so much happening because Venus is in Scorpio, Mercury is in Libra, Mercury is just about to go retrograde on the 27th, so that will be by the end of this week, that's another thing I'm going to touch on, but um, aside from that, Mars is in Libra, and then after this full moon, we'll still be in the full moon energy, on the 22nd is the equinox, and on that same day, the Sun will be moving into Libra. So we'll have the Sun, Mercury, and Mars all in Libra, which is going to bring up this effort. Okay, there's like a value, there's like a work ethic involved here. What actions need to be taken place here? Um, that's Mars energy in Libra in, in a way that is going to progress society with the mercury there and it's going to be in retrograde soon it's really about reflecting are you where you want to be in relationships are there people in your life that you maybe need to make amends with social justice humanitarian pursuits how are you contributing to society could you do more that is that work and that effort towards relationships, friends, society, and Mercury will be helping us through communication and through our thought process in Libra as well. So we always know with retrogrades we have communication issues, technological issues, you know, just like losing stuff that happens a lot, car issues, maybe your car won't start or something. Um, there's so much that happens with Mercury retrograde, but it is travel, you know, different kinds of 
issues surrounding travel, plane, your plane ticket, you know, something might go wrong at the airport. It's anything like that. And so we're already in the pre-shadow phase, which is usually where the most communication errors happen, I feel. And then once we get into the actual retrograde, it's more of just like reassessing, re reevaluating, and looking back on things and how could we have done it differently, can we still make changes, etc. Okay, so with this Pisces full moon, those dreams, those things that we've always wanted, hopefully will be showing up for you. Hopefully you've been putting in effort towards them and now maybe you have a new found, activated energy towards that dream. The Pisces full moon is going to hopefully make you manifest those things if you've been making changes. There is a feeling of fear in the air, still um, Pluto in Capricorn and then Saturn in Aquarius and we have Venus in Scorpio which is the deeper, darker, more intense feelings um, of finding meaning in a world where we're still seeing so many restrictions or things not making sense, still being in such an uncertain time has kind of made it so that we're more fearful to make change. And this is also because we're moving into almost having six planets in retrograde. So by the time Mercury retrogrades fully on the 27th, we will have six planets then in retrograde, which is basically just like no forward movement you will feel more restricted. If there's any big changes that you've been needing to make, and there probably are, and you maybe have been putting it off, or fear or stress or whatever may have gotten in the way of making those changes, you want to do that now, because if not, you're going to be stuck, and then you won't be able to really change much until some of those planets start coming direct in early to mid-October. So, what I want to say is, if you've been putting off change, and this isn't going to be like a little, oh, let me just try this one little change in my diet. This is going to be change that you've been feeling for a while, or thoughts that have come up probably multiple times by now. Oh, I could try it this way. Maybe an outside of the box idea. Um, there are experimentations happening within our lives personally and obviously on a larger scale but if it doesn't feel right, if it doesn't feel natural, if it feels like it's egoic or out of fear, you, we don't want to follow those types of experiments. But if it, if it lights you up, if it feels like it brings your life deeper meaning or you feel more passionate about that thing then if it feels a natural step in your process or the next best thing for you, those are the changes we want to make. So it could be something little, but if you've been putting it off and it feels like something that, that would be worth doing, then those would be the changes that you want to make. This is going to be heavily related to relationships because we have so much happening in Libra. So whether it's our relationships in general with just people on a larger scale, I'm sure we will see that, how we interact with others on a larger societal scale, but also these are personal relationships, platonic or romantic. The things that we know need to change that maybe we haven't brought up or the things that make us uncomfortable that we thought we could just slide under the rug or that you know maybe wouldn't bother us in the long run, those things are gonna keep coming up because Venus is now in Scorpio and then all this other energy in Libra, it has to feel right, it has to feel connected, it has to be deeper. Scorpio is deeper and with Venus being there, this is about beauty, money, and love. Um, so, Scorpio is like the investigator. 
and they want to get to the bottom of things. They dive deeply into things and it can be excessive, but it's for a reason. And it has a sense of an emotionality to it. So it will feel more sensitive. These times will be for making big change. And also, Venus in Scorpio is going to be opposing Uranus in Taurus. And so that's going to be happening on the 23rd this week. So that's just another thing to look forward to because <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's not really to look forward to, but it can bring shock. Uranus and Taurus opposing Venus and Scorpio. Uranus brings surprise elements and it's going to be about your worth and your value. And Scorpio having Venus there is saying like, is this really how I want to feel emotionally in a relationship, most likely? Uh, relationships are probably going to be the number one topic for the next month or so, given that everything will be in Libra. But Venus in Scorpio is questioning emotionally. Am I being valued? Am I getting everything? Are all the, the bullet points that I'm looking for in a relationship or just in my life in general or just how I feel about myself or the relationship or am I being um, shown from my partner reflected back to me my own value? You know, does my partner value me in the way that I do or that I would like to be? So. That's going to be on Thursday, I think, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, yeah. So watch out for people, that energy can be explosive, people can be easily angered, people who are right on the verge might snap on that day, so that's not the day to be playing any kind of head games in your relationship or trying to make someone jealous, you know, the things that people do sometimes in relationships, that will possibly bring up old trauma and issues that people have had in the past regarding relationships, abandonment issues, if they doubt you or feel, because remember, just how you feel, your partner most likely is feeling, maybe in a different way, but they're feeling the energy too. So if you're feeling like they're not valuing you or the relationship has lost or diminished value or you're trying to find a deeper meaning to the relationship or it, whether it's worth having at all they may be having those same feelings so if you push someone too far or you're passive aggressive or you say things you don't mean or whatever so many communication issues that people have and hurtful things that they do and say you will probably push that person away because they'll start thinking about all the things in the past and all the things that hurt them and then you will be the one inflicting that pain so just don't do that okay that's just oh, that's an obvious thing don't do that but you know some people they do that uh, unconsciously too so then on the 25th which would be friday we have um, Mars and Libra will be trining Saturn. So this is going to be about that working, working towards societal change, contributing to society. That takes effort and work, possibly karma in relationships coming up here. Um, but in a positive way, bringing up changes that need to be made that will hopefully bring forth positive change. Undoubtedly will bring up positive change in the end. Whether you see it that way or not, that's up to you. So, uh, you know, like you may, it may cause a breakup or something and then you're, you're devastated. But then, you know, a couple of months from now you may realize like, oh, that was actually a really great thing that happened. So then on the 27th, Mercury goes retrograde. That will be on Saturday. Um, so we just want to 
think about this week. It's so much energy. It is definitely about relationships, but it's also about a new cycle beginning with the equinox. Um, this is a harvest moon, so this harvest moon in Pisces is saying like the seeds that you've sown, what have you done with it? Have they grown? Have you nurtured them? Have you stuck to the changes that you wanted to make prior? If not, continue to make those changes now and you want to do so this week before all these planets are retrograde and then you can't make any changes for months. Uh, you really don't want to be stuck in this type of energy. Okay, so relationships will come to a head. Expect sudden and abrupt changes from people because Scorpio kind of brings to the surface the real, real feelings that you have. The things that maybe Libra might just ignore. Scorpio can't ignore that. And so Venus being there, it's that type of energy where someone may say like, Oh, you're being extreme. That's Scorpio. You're being extreme or you're you're taking it too personally or you're getting too offended or whatever. But there's reasons why we feel those things and Scorpio is exaggerated emotion. It's on purpose, but it's so that you will say, okay, obviously something feels off. It may seem over emotional to others or highly sensitive or like you're acting out based on your emotion. But the truth is your emotion is guiding you. And if you've been ignoring it or thinking it would just go away or heal itself or change itself, that Scorpio is showing Venus now, that's not gonna happen like that. There's deeper hidden meaning behind everything. And the sensitivity that we feel during this time is to let you know if you need to make a change, sudden abrupt, career changes, relationships ending, starting new relationships, discovering maybe this person isn't exactly what I had in mind and we're better off as friends. And it will seem sudden, okay? But that doesn't mean that it's not real or on purpose and for a reason. So pay attention to those things. Decisions can be made quickly. Um, and changes that need to be made that have probably been needing to be made for a long time are going to become more apparent now. Okay, the big choices that you have, they need to be made now. And I know it's hard for people and people have their own reasons for being fearful or stressed about things or putting things off, whether it's financial or just about your security period, like, you know, securing who you are or yourself emotionally, self-esteem, that sort of thing. Some people don't like to be alone. Some people don't want to leave their job because of how their friends or family may react or what people may say about them. Sometimes it's not about that at all and it's strictly financial and you really can't leave your job or your relationship or whatever because you may need that person you know, monetarily. That's where you have to listen to your inner guidance. That's where your intuition is going to take center stage because the universe will always give you exactly what you need if you have that faith, if you're open to it and, and you take the opportunities, seize the moment when it comes. So, don't stay in something. Wherever you're unhappy, if it's not fulfilling you, especially if you've been getting these nudges over time recently. You know, it's like when the Spirit is showing you over and over, it's like, I told you, I've been telling you, I gave you all the signs, and what did you do with it? Did you make the changes? So overall, this is, week is going to be about relationships. It's going to be about your accumulation of the dreams, the work, the effort, whatever that means for you in relationships, career, long-term goals. Have you set yourself up for the kind of success that you want? Ultimately, this time will be about relationships um, and, and it's also about finding harmony in those relationships and balance in your life. Balance with others, making amends with others, 
sometimes that means apologizing, sometimes that means accepting an apology, sometimes it means just making it right however, however that may be. So I would like for everyone to think of their highest good, their highest vision for themselves in their life. Are the people you are surrounded with? Are the choices that you have made? Is your career choice uh, in alignment with that vision that you have for yourself and your future? Now would be the time to change those things when it comes to relationships and career. Now would be the time to express yourself and communicate, especially maybe before Mercury goes retrograde. Expect people to be weird. Expect communication to be off. But you can get there. Over explain yourself. Stay calm. Be open and listen. And then the communication will go better as far as retrograde goes. Um, so we want to remember that the Scorpio is also about rebirth and transformation. So there is major changes taking place now on a societal level, but also in our personal lives. So whatever changes you need to make, whatever you're being shown that you need, to do, I would not wait on that. Uh, and accept these rebirths and transformations as positive change because they, they always are. So that's the astrology for this week. There's so much happening pretty much every day or every other day we have a major thing happening. So keep in mind how you feel is generally how everyone else will be feeling or some way affected by it. So be nice to everyone, find harmony and balance in your relationships, make the changes that you need to make even if they're hard and I know this is going to be a great week. Mm -hmm.